Okay. So... Is this a Toy Story movie? Because... So this... I don't know how many of you guys remember, chat. And it's... It's almost like... It's almost like breaking the fourth wall, right? Do you guys remember the Buzz Lightyear cartoon show that came out... Let me think one. Probably around... 2002-ish? Somewhere around that, chat? Yes. And it was... It was, it, I think it was called Buzz Lightyear, like Space Command or something, Star Command. And it was Buzz Lightyear and his like Star Command team. And they went on adventures. And when you think about it in this, in the like the, the grand scheme of Toy Story, it's almost like breaking the fourth wall because that doesn't exist, right? The whole Star Command is like not real. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just, it's bizarre. But when I see this chat, I'm kind of thinking that that's what this is. It's like Buzz Lightyear, like the whole Star Command side story. But it, it's like, it's not real though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Buzz Lightyear. Because you guys know, right, in the, in, the, in the first movie, Buzz thinks that like all that Star Command shit is real. Who, who's the villain chat that, that I think might be his dad? It's like Zork or Zark or something. I feel like there's too many villains. Zod. It's too many villains that, that have like Zerg. It, it's way too many generic villains that all have like Zod, Zerg, Zig. You know what I mean? <laughs> Zark, whatever. It's just, a, it's just a generic four letter name that starts with Z. Zark, Zork, Zerg, whatever. It's like really, it's really generic. Um, hold on. Buzz Lightyear Star Command. So yes, chat. Buzz Lightyear. Okay, this I guess this came out in 2000. It was a cartoon show. But the, the the point is, this whole Star Command thing, chat. It like doesn't exist. It's not real. It is. It's just based on like the commercials. And Buzz learns this in. Does he learn it in Toy Story one or two? I, I think in Toy Story one. But it, they go into more detail on like Toy Story two. But they also made a spinoff of that fake thing as like a cartoon show. And I don't know, this kind of looks like that. So I, I want to see the chick was, oh my God, I knew, I knew, I knew someone was going to say that chat. I knew someone actually, maybe she was hot. Let's find out. <laughs> I knew there was a fat one. This is how you always made, you had the main hero who was like the main guy. Then you have a cute girl. You have a nerd, and then you have a fat guy who's just, he's there for comic relief. That's the team, chat. Like, you got the main hero, the fat one, the nerd, and then you have the hot girl. <laughs> what, is that her name? Her name's Holly? I, I don't <laughs> I can't say that I remember the characters, but I, I definitely remember this show. So, I wouldn't be surprised, chat. If this movie is not a Toy Story movie at all, if it if it is a Star Command movie, but it's just it's weird because Star Command's not real. So let's see what this is about. Go, go, go. Cabin pressurization is underway as we prepare for ignition. Flight recorders are on. Do you think Toy Story is real? No, but it's not real even in its own world, Nick Pippin. That's what I mean. Too. It's not real even in its own world. That's nice. Children do get. So is it Star Command movie? Children do get. 
to infinity and pog he's got a black girlfriend check so hold on so hold on this is a star commit this is so bizarre i this is so bizarre this is so weird i'm trying to understand like what this is so big pippin just said toy story is not real i understand that but in the canon of toy story star command itself isn't even real so how can star command be a movie when it doesn't exist like <laughs> say the line caps hello hold on are you guys telling did they like retcon star command and like toy story 4 or something to make it real because if they did then just tell me but my understanding chat is that star command is not real so how can like how can any of this actually be like a real thing when it doesn't exist in its own its own continuity it's a dream yeah like okay if this is all a dream then it does make sense because then it's still not real but like how can any of this even happen when wait the movie is about a character who is a toy based off of it that makes sense how how what what how star command is an organization star command the organization is not real but the show is buzz is from the show that's from toy story one no but there no buzz what what show are you talking about in toy story one i don't remember buzz being in a show i just remember star command like it was just a commercial right it wasn't a commercial this isn't the toy. This is the character. <gasps> what? Hold on. You're telling me that Buzz was based on a real person? In in the in the Toy Story lore, Buzz is actually based on a real person? Yes. Isn't Buzz isn't I mean, I don't know if Buzz Lightyear is like a real person person, but I'm I'm saying in the Toy Story in the Toy Story lore, if Buzz is based on a real person, then this actually kind of would make sense because this would be the story behind that guy. What? When when did they when did they establish this? What Toy Story movie was that? Where they established like Buzz is like a real person? High highlight channel. Buzz like Buzz is an action figure based off a real per. Yeah, but when when did they establish that? It's from the manga, true. <laughs> Just tell me when they established that. He's also got some, uh, what is it you call it, uh, Big Pimpin? Not Jungle Fee, Yellow Fee or something like that? Yeah. Entry, I never knew that. Fido, go. Go, fight. Cabin pressurization is underway. Jungle Fee. Prepare for ignition. Flight recorders are on. T minus five. What do you guys think of this? I mean, it looks cool. I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head around the existence of it. Yeah, I guess that could be his girlfriend, chat. She's in multiple scenes. What's her name? And don't say LaQuisha, chat. Don't say LaQuisha. This is basically the cartoon that Buzz is based on. I said, yes, it's a girl. Doja. Tanya. I'm gonna go with Lexi. There's a star. So Star Command property of Star Command. Dude, that chin though. Jesus Christ, that is like Jay Leno and Crimson Chin combined. Woo, that shit. Waiting in the sky. Do I know who's singing the, the song? I mean, so I'm going to just throw out an ignorant guess. It, it doesn't sound like this person, but it sounds like a song they would sing. And that would be, hold on. I want to say Elton John. We'd like to come and meet us. Yeah, it does. It, it like sounds like a song Elton John would sing, but I don't know if that's actually Elton John. Am I right? Am I wrong? 
You're almost right. Oh, no. Uh, uh, hold on. Freddie Mercury? Freddie Mercury? Oh, it's David Bowie. Get him older. To infinity. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know like songs like that. Yes, chat. Even though I'm a boomer, I don't, I don't know like boomer music. That seemed interesting. I, I, I'm still skeptical of what you guys said though. That like Buzz Lightyear the toy was based on like a real person in the Toy Story universe. Cause I'm just at like when when was that established? That's that's all I want to know is like when was that ever established? Just Reddit it. Pixar announcements from Disney's Investor Day. Oh wait, this is 2020. That's this is like a, a year ago. Turning Red and Lightyear feature films coming 2020. Just skip the, okay. Hey everybody, I'm Pete Doctor. Pixar started in 1986 with the dream to take the wonderful- Pog, just like someone I know. Who else started in 1986, chat? 86, best year confirmed. Everyone Tradition. born after 86 should just kiss themselves because you'll never be able to top it. Drake? And trans <laughs> Fuck you. Form it. Using state-of-the-art <laughs> computer technology. Fuck you. Tradition and in Wait, what's lighting, turning? Which is changing her interests, her relationships, her body, and balancing all this with family and crushes and her devotion to the biggest. Oh. I'm excited to announce two, two new films today, both releasing in 2022. In the spring of 22, we have an original film directed by another first-time feature director, Domi Shi who won an Academy Award for her Pixar short film, Bow. Get ready for Turning Red. It's about a little girl. This is May, confident 13-year-old who's experiencing the excruciatingly awkwardness of being a teenager. Everything in her life is changing. Her Not a movie for pedos, by the way. <laughs> oh, Interest, goodness. Sir. Oh, yeah, Drake Bell. Dude, I told you guys 86 was the goat year. Cap G, Drake, and Drake Bell. The three amigos. Relationships, her body, and balancing all this with family and crushes and her devotion to the biggest boy band on the planet is no small feat. Oh, and one more little detail. She's Whenever she gets too excited, which for a 13-year-old is like always, she uncontrollably poofs into a giant red panda. Any, any, anyone else just, just, what the fuck just, this movie just went off the rails. You know, for a second, chat, I was, why, yes, that's exactly why. For a second, I'm like, oh, this is kind of cute. Isn't this basically just, I thought, I was, I was like, oh, this is just inside out. They're talking about this little girl and her crushes and her boy bands. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's cute. There's just going to be inside out with another, with a, a ginger girl, right? This chick has, yeah, it's inside out just with a ginger. So I'm like, that's kind of cute. And then they randomly have her turn into like a furry. And I'm just like, okay. This is why I don't watch these movies anymore, chat. Her interests, her relationships, her body. There's an overlap in market. And crushes uh, and her devotion to the I'm biggest boy band on the planet cat. is no small feat. Oh, and one more little detail. Why don't we have Keck wait, by the way, chat? Do we not have Keck wait? Whenever she gets too excited, which for a 13-year-old is like always, she uncontrollably poofs into a giant red panda. Kind of like... That doesn't even look like a panda, by the way. Do pandas have long tails, chat? I, I thought pandas basically didn't even have tails. This looks like a raccoon. A red panda? It's a... What is a... Red panda? That's a thing? How is this not a raccoon? What is a red panda? Yeah, how is this 
<laughs> you watched Korra? How? This is not a what? It's just a raccoon. Expert red pa yeah. Chat suddenly expert on red pandas. This is just a raccoon. Maybe a mongoose. It's definitely not a. I mean, I know I know what a panda looks like. This is a panda. This is not a panda. Um. This is Bandicoots all over again. It's a cousin. Of, okay, that's that's all I want. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's just much more like a raccoon than it is a panda. Can't Why do they even call it a panda then? Cuter. It's called a raccoon. Turning red is an original take on the great tradition of coming of age comedies, albeit one with an emotional and a furry twist. It's kind of cute. And coming in the summer of 2022 is a science fiction adventure film unlike anything we've done before. Uh huh. So it's Buzz Lightyear. He did say furry. Honestly. At first glance, you might think, this is a Toy Story film. Well, not so fast. See, back when we created the very first Toy Story, we designed Buzz Lightyear with the idea that he was a toy based on some really cool character from an epic blockbuster film. Well, all these years later, we decided it's time to make that film. Directed by Pixar vet Angus McLean. Huh. So this guy is saying that that's always been canon? That Buzz Lightyear has always been... That toy has always been based on a real person. I, I guess I just need to go back and watch toy, the original Toy Story then. I mean, it's it's been... It's been a long time since I've watched it. But he's saying, like, that was always the case. I, I didn't... Not a real person, a fucking movie. So, then what is this? So, so is this movie, that movie inside of Toy Story then? Like, I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Okay, so if, if, if Buzz Lightyear was a character from a movie in Andy's world, then is this movie just a movie that Andy would watch? Yes. <laughs> Press one if this is like Toy Story Inception chat. This is confusing, and all, all I'm saying is it needs to make sense. Because basically, yeah, that, that's kind of like what it sounds like, is if Andy could go watch the Buzz Lightyear movie, then we're watching the movie that Andy would have watched 20 years ago. That's kind of just like what it sounds like then. Time to stream Toy Story with Twitch Chat. Director of Finding Dory, Lightyear is the definitive origin story of the original Buzz Lightyear. And it reveals how this young test pilot became the space ranger we all know him to be today. And we're excited to announce this new Buzz Lightyear will be voiced by none other than Chris Evans. You don't. It's not Tim Allen! Oh, be yourself. Oh, it's not Tim Allen? They changed the voice actor. Uh, why did they get rid of Tim Allen? Oh, God, Captain America. I'm not saying. Did he just not talk in the trailer chat? Because I just didn't, or was I talking over it? Did I just not notice it? No, he said to Infinity and Beyond. I guess I just didn't notice it. Wow, that's crazy. They changed the voice actor. I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if any, I'm, I'm guessing maybe one of these characters could appear in the movie and like, why'd they change the character? Much more traditional Pixar than Buzz. And we're excited to have Chris's help in bringing a new twist <laughs> to this iconic character. We can't wait to take audiences to Zerg is in it? and beyond. I, I, I actually would expect Zerg, yeah, I, I would expect Zerg to be in the summer of 2022. So it's coming out next summer. Yeah, I would expect Zerg. I mean, I'm not saying like he's. I'm not saying all of these characters are gonna be in it or that they'll have like major roles. But like, I don't know. I, I would expect one of them to just show up. Like maybe at some point, Buzz gets out of the Space Academy and he just like passes by one of them at Star Command or something like that. So I mean, probably like, I don't know. Ideally, the the chick maybe. Uh, wait, Woody's getting a movie as well. Uh, who's going to play Woody, Chad? If it's not going to be Tom Hanks, who, who's going to be Woody? Wait, this just took me to my YouTube homepage, uh, Phobic Gaming Nerd. 
<laughs> to answer your question, no. <laughs> yeah, all, all this did was take me to my homepage where I have a variety of sports, SpongeBob, girl playing Dragon Ball. shows you chat if these suits were real they they'd actually be pretty sexy 